All right, guys, this is part two of my silver predictions by the end of the year video, and this is going to be the bullish perspective. So what I'm about to tell you is somewhat of a conspiracy theory as of right now, but this group, Winter Benton, has had some previous involvement in the silver, uh, sort of in the silver trading community. They... I honestly, I'm not going to lie, I haven't heard much about them up until a few days ago when this news started breaking. And um, so yeah, I'll just jump right in here. Winter Benton Returns predicts silver will trade above $50 by December 31st, 2012. Winter Benton, the anonymous blogger on YouTube Finance JPM page who claims to be a group of former JP Morgan commodities traders under Blythe Masters and accurately forecast numerous silver moves in the early 2011, re-emerged today after the 11-month hiatus. So about what they were saying before, um, actually never mind, I'll just keep going. Benton claims that the October 31st, 2011 takedown of MF Global was specifically designed to prevent the group of former JPM traders with a chip on their shoulders against their old boss, Blythe Masters, from taking delivery of a massive amount of physical silver and breaking JP Morgan's massive naked short silver position. So a lot of this article here um, relies on uh, the assumption that people already understand the whole MF Global debacle. They already understand how JP Morgan is intertwined with silver manipulation, with massive short positions on the market. And it also assumes that you understand the whole Blythe Masters um, situation. I'm not going to get into it. If you guys want to learn more, there's tons of information out there. Just Type it in on Google and there will be a wealth of information for you guys to go over. Um, but basically in 2011, they came out with a statement saying that silver was going to rally up to the up to the $50 level. And we all know what happened in 2011. It was basically a straight rally from the, you know, from the $30 level straight up to $50 without any hesitation, basically. So now after 11 months of hiatus, they have returned and now they're making another prediction. Silver is going to be trading above $50 by the end of the year. Now this view vastly conflicts with the last video I did about why silver is very, very likely to have a massive breakdown in price uh, before the end of 2012. Um, based on, you know, large commercial shorts and the technicals. So let's get into what they're saying. Silver will trade above $50 before December 31st, 2012. This is their actual post in the message board. You can click here uh, to find it. I'll put the link to the Silver Doctors article down below as well. We wish to inform our followers that silver will trade above $50 before December 31st, 2012. I'm sure that is something that everyone on this channel would love to see happen. But then again, if you know, if you want to buy more physical silver, then you might as well be betting with the last video I made, the bearish sentiment. The $36 silver derivative time bomb is still in effect for the morgue, so count the trading days once silver gets above $36. MFG, so they're talking about MF Global here, was set up to prevent uh, was set up to prevent us from taking silver above $45 last year. Did anyone wonder why MFG failed precisely 30 days before our deadline or why no one can locate the vaporized money? It was designed specifically to stop us from taking silver up and out. Think about it. Now, this is a massive claim here. There's basically no way to confirm this claim or deny it. So just take it with a grain of salt. Take this whole article with a grain of salt is what I'm going to say. Too bad the more can't do that again this time because we are beyond their reach now. Once again, we are back. do da do da So tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, let's check out some comments behind. Uh, below. Now it's the winter of our discontent. Made glorious summer of the son of York. Jeff Christian. Not sure what that means. 
Although entertaining, I'm very skeptical about these guys. They were guaranteeing prices last year, and when it didn't happen, they went into hiding. There is always very little substance to their predictions. I fully, fully agree with this comment. Um, while it was a mistake to guarantee if they are going to be believed, they were thwarted by outright theft at MFG. If you promise your friend you'll be at his birthday party and someone steals your car, you can't make it. Does not make you untrustworthy? True, true. See, so you guys can check out these comments below. I'm not going to bore you guys with this. But this is basically the core to my argument about why some people are saying silver is going to be trading above $50 by the end of the year. Um, I don't know what to make of it. As I said at the beginning, this is, it seems to me like just a conspiracy theorist at this point. But the fact that they do have uh, sort of previous involvement in this market and the fact that they did call silver going straight to 50 from last year, um, I think it's worth taking a look at and it's worth uh, sort of, you know, watching the day that they say they're going to start this. They actually put out a date. Where was that date? Um, sure about 20, 20 by the end of 2011. This was one of their failed predictions right here silver to $120 by the end of 2011 so we know these people don't have sort of a magic ball on what's going to happen but they are making a pretty critical stance with this one uh with this one argument right here $50 by December 31st uh last time I checked there was a date that they're going to start pumping they gave a specific date I'm just trying to look for it right now because if you know if something actually happens we will know based on this date if we see silver starting to rise on this date then we know something something here is uh, can be verified I'll post an annotation on this video right here letting you guys know the date that they're starting to do this I believe it was October 16th so we're only a couple days away uh, October 16th is when they say they're gonna start pushing the silver market up and we're going to see $50 by the end of the year. So again, guys, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this sentiment, the bullish sentiment. And if you haven't checked out my last video on the bearish sentiment, it's pretty good. It, under, uh, it goes into why uh, one person in specific is uh, predicting the silver market to absolutely break down in the coming months. So these are two conflicting perspectives I've got going on here. I just wanted to um, put them side by side and let you guys decide on your own what you think is going to happen. I'm not going to give a prediction of my own just because, as I just said, uh, I want everyone to be able to make their own opinions on things. I don't want to be putting any, uh, you know, any price targets in your mind that can't be confirmed because at this point anything could happen. So guys, please again hit that like button below if uh, it'll help me grow my channel and it'll help me spread this information around and basically just promote more Silver Truth on YouTube because there's a lot of propaganda going on even in the Silver Truther community with people saying, uh, you know, always buy silver, it's always going to go up and then once we see a massive crash in the silver price, oh whoops, it's a buying opportunity, go ahead and add more to your collection. I like smart investing, I like dollar cost averaging down instead of up, and if you're the same as me, then you're on the right channel. Thanks guys.